Oh hi, it's Doppler, and today we're going to be comparing the Canon JS physics engine with the Rapier RS, which is Rust physics engine. In this demo, we're going to be using this 3D map that I've created in Crocodile and converting that into a physical object. If I enable debug mode, you can see the tri-mesh is being created off of every mesh surface face inside of this dungeon world I've created. To prove that the tri-meshes are working, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the ball or spheres to the screen and see if they hit any of the edges. So let's refresh it. And yep, just like that. So you can see that the balls are currently rolling around and then falling into the pit, which is exactly the kind of behavior I would want this and expect it to do. So since 10 worked really well, let's go ahead and just do a thousand, and see if that blows up my computer. So <laughs> it kind of did, it froze a little bit, but it's super smooth. I mean, just look at these collisions and rapier. It's, it's handling it with no problem. Let's try Canon JS with just 10 and see how it handles it. Totally fine, not a problem. If we throw a thousand objects at the Canon JS tri-mesh versus the sphere, it gets a really grumpy response. So let's go ahead and try that out. Yeah, we're down to about five frames a second, which is really not acceptable for a game. For me, I think it's a pretty easy choice to stick with Rapier for this physics engine just because it handles everything I need it to do, which is just tri-meshes with primitive shapes. I appreciate you watching this video. I'm gonna try to keep releasing these kind of dev vlog of the development I'm working on. So if you like this, then I guess keep subscribing to what I'm going to be making. But uh, thanks for watching this comparison of Canon JS and Rapier. Have a good one. Bye.